What's up guys, Chaz here. If you're new to my channel, I basically teach you photography tips on how to better your photography. Today I'm gonna to be talking about dodging and burning. And what dodging and burning is the process of lightening and darkening certain parts of your image. I know originally when I first started, I was really reluctant to using dodging and burning. I thought it was something that you had to spend hours and hours doing and something that I would think was too hard to learn. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a simple way in using curve adjustments. And it's something simple, simple, easy, anyone can learn it. And I'm gonna show you coming up. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. So here's the finished product right now. I've already dodged and burned it and made all the color corrections and adjustments. So right here is uh, my, my layers. So I'm turning it off and on so you can see the difference. So this is after, before, after, before, after. So I'm gonna delete that and we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna create two curve adjustment layers. And then Command J. I'm gonna name this bottom one Burn. And I'm gonna name this top one Dodge. So then I go to my blending modes and for the dodge you want to hit screen, command I to invert this layer and for burn you want to hit multiply, command I to invert that layer and you want to make sure your brush tool is selected with an opacity of 100 and a flow of about 4 to 6 I'm going to do 4. And so typically when I start dodging and burning Dodge, I want to start with dodging and lighting up the uh, already lightened areas. And um, so typically I would lighten up this area, leg area, um, some of the face. Um, if it was a portrait, I would probably spend a little bit more. If it was an up-close portrait, I would spend more time strictly on the face. But since this is more full body, I'm just going to touch up some things. And then the arms and uh, maybe some parts of the clothes that I want to be a little bit more visible. So start with the face usually. I line up the chin area, the cheeks, down the nose. And then um, we'll do the lip area, bottom lip. Then I just want to line up any areas that I think may be too dark. And this is personal preference on um, how much light you want to put on the um, some parts of the photo. Grab the gloves too so you can see a little bit more of those. And then I'm going to lighten some areas on the shirt. See some of the more shape. I also like to lighten the highlights of the hair, make it stand out a little bit more. Then lighten up some here down the legs. So now I'm going to start with the burning. So I'm going to go back up to the face. And then when I'm dodging burn in the face, I like to darken the eyebrow eyebrows a little bit. Side of the nose. Under the lips. And then, um, usually down here on the chin, neck area. So before and after that, so you can kind of see the difference. And then after, I've kind of touched up the face a little bit in the hair, head area. I want to darken the outsides of the subject. So typically have the brush tool about halfway 
in between the subject and then on the outside of it. And what this does is separates the subject from the background a little, gives it a little bit more depth, makes its subject stand out a little bit more. And so generally, depending on what your opacity is, mine is currently at 4 still. Um, maybe a couple of times I'll go over area to darken it a little bit more. It really depends on each photo. the difference. So when you see once you start burning you see a little bit more curves in um, some of the parts of the photo which kind of makes it have a little bit more of a 3D look. So now I'm just going to kind of go around the photo and see what needs lightening and darkening. Again, the point of this is to add shape and uh, a little bit more depth. Alright, so I'm going to group those two tabs together so we can kind of see what we've already done. So this is a actions applied so this is before after before after before after so you can kind of see the difference it kind of unflattens the image a little bit all right so I'm done with this photo generally it really depends on each photo like if it's a portrait I would spend a lot more time on the face and um, pay it pay more of it more attention to the details if it's a closer up portrait but since this is more of a full body one I kind of wanted to hit all the other spaces evenly and um, dodge and burn can be used on not only your your main subject but if you want to darken the background a little bit more you know it helps or if you want to lighten some of the areas like say you want more more light in these part of the buildings or you want to darken this side you can do all that with the curves adjustment all right, so that's it. You know, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, after doing this a couple of times, you'll kind of get the hang of it and what what you like in your own photo and what you think it should look like. But a couple of times, you should pretty much get a good flow. All right, so that's it. Um, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and let me know if you want to see anything else. All right. Thank you for watching.